Back to Reality with Ronnie McMullen. Okay, Mr. R. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Um, See, it's good to stop. Just got to stop. And rest, you do. You do. You have easy. to. I mean, I think it's frustrating to see what's going on in the world sometimes, but you do have to stop. You have to you have some kind of peace, some kind of joy, some kind of, you know, this obviously we just went through Thanksgiving and, you know, we, we had some friends over and I, I said, you know, we had a little fire, you know, out in the back. And I, mm-hmm. I said, you know, what are you thankful for? And sometimes I watch and when you ask people certain questions if they're not ready they, they're kind of huh and it was like what what do you think what is something that you're thankful for you know and when you start talking about your own thankfulness of whatever that is it's interesting how it grows you'll start yeah i'm thankful for this and then well, but i'm also thankful for and, and then this too so it's good to change pace sometimes sometimes even music brings that pace in it just as well true you remember the platters right I do. I do. The great Tony Williams he used to park yep. cars in Hollywood. He was a car a car parker. He says, I'm going to make it. And he did. So, <laughs> what uh, You have been on this program many times now, and we've talked about mind control. We've talked about satanic Hollywood. We've talked about all kinds of things that our young people, well, heck, most all of us come into contact with, on the internet, through television, through the movies. And I'm wondering if what you see as the next trend, maybe. You know what I think? I honestly think we are headed toward the Roman Colosseum again on a pay-per-view basis. I think it's going to get that bad in time. I mean, they've made snuff movies for years. So this unlimited fighting where you kick and you punch and you box and they don't even have gloves on, really. They're just little hand mittens. Um, I think we're getting closer to the ultimate in voyeurism. That's to view battles to the death. And I think that's coming. I think there's, we haven't plumbed the bottom of it all yet. When you, th- you think about the shooting yesterday, that was a real ISIS Muslim terror operation. All right? Whether it was thought up by ISIS or not is not relevant. The woman pledged her allegiance to ISIS. They obviously were in Saudi Arabia, had plenty of opportunity for contact. This had been in the plan, planning stage for a long time. We're just beginning to see the, the, uh, the whole thing. Obama's take the guns away express was derailed yesterday. It's mm. off the tracks, thank God. Um, he didn't want to admit that this was terrorism, Muslim terrorism, because the guy's a Muslim. And he's he's had to do it now. The FBI sure took their time, but maybe they wanted to make sure. I don't know. But when you've got two Muslims and that kind of behavior, you got terrorism, period. And when they talk about gun control next time, I hope each and every one of you makes it known to your congressman or senator no way, no how, no chance. When you're in a situation like that, you have a God-given right to protect yourself. And unfortunately, the only way we can protect ourselves is to arm ourselves now. And we might be in a position to help someone else, to intervene. And every year in this country, I think it's close to a million crimes are stopped by citizens who are legally armed. No, they don't discharge their firearms. They don't have to. They stop criminal activity. Every single society that has had its guns taken away has seen a catastrophic increase in crime. Answer, California, strictest gun control laws you can imagine. Did it stop those people from getting guns? Hell no. Criminals and maniacs and mass killers will always get guns, period. End yeah, that's that's the truth. I I think I, I kind of have a different take on ISIS and uh, and all of this uh, so-called terrorist. First of all, they start talking about uh, you know Black Friday is going to be a terrorist day. Such and such day is going to be a terrorist day. It's going to be. They have no intelligence on that whatsoever. They're making it up out of their butt. And we see a lot of stuff not happening. Um, 
I think it is my opinion. I could be wrong, and you know, if I am, so, so what? But I believe that、uh, they're pushing a war because they've got an economy, a house of cards, ready to collapse. And if they don't get some kind of war going somewhere, some kind of something going somewhere,、um, we're we're going to be not in a recession. We're not even going to be in like a depression of 29. We're going to be in worse than we ever have because we have all this technology, and、uh, we're going to be screwed. So that that's that's just kind of one of my takes. Yeah, fine. Well said. I want to make a statement that I think is a very important statement and is really probably my backbone. I am an anti-fear guy. I mean, I do not like to、mm -hmm. listen to the fear of the mass media. I don't like to listen to the fear that Obama gives us.、Um, you know, a leader, a king, a president, whatever you want to use for terminology, is supposed to.、Uh, Be a protector of the people, not a, a fear giver, a fear monger. And so, when we're told about attacks that haven't happened, that they have no intelligence on,、um, this is just about giving fear. And this is the same thing. But they don't want to tell you about the chemicals in the air. They don't want to tell you about the florida fluoridization of the water. Which, by the way, in tap water. Okay, it is high in disinfectant, okay, disinfection byproducts, which are D. DBPs, okay, chloroform, fluoride, and here's what they cause: they cause cancer, they cause reproductive damage, birth defects, dizziness, fatigue, headache, liver and kidney damage. This is in the water, and here's what's wild: is this water is being fluoridated, and this this water that is being fluoridated is not by the people's choice. Okay, so that is a fact. A fact is they're dumping this fluoridization because supposedly this helps with tooth decay. Like like our government, like our CDC, the World Health Organization is interested in your cavities. Serious? I mean, are we going to buy into this? And this, to me, this is where I just go. It blows my top because I'm like, I can't believe that that these people are are using fluoride in their little brains as a medicine. And they're putting this medicine into our tap water. Well, it's not medicine, for, first of all, and、mm -hmm. second of all, don't we still have a choice to say no? Other countries are saying we don't want Florida flor fluoridization in our water. We don't want it. But here in America, oh, that's okay. It's supposed to help clean our our water. Yeah, that's a good thing. No, it's not. It's a lie. It, and and they have not found. In fact, if you have too much fluoride, it actually takes the enamel right off your teeth. Well, that's true.、Uh, calorie rates go up.、Uh, it's theoretically put in the water to prevent cavities or caries, as some people call them. It began being used on people in World War II. The big secret about fluoride is, in case you don't know it, many of you do, is that it actually causes a part of your brain. That is interested in territorial protection, territoriality, to stop functioning. It makes you placid. It makes you completely without any kind of interest in、uh, being aggressive.、Uh, it's a it's a tranquilizer, if you、yes. will. But it has permanent repercussions because it actually destroys that part of your brain that is aggress aggressive. There's no aggression anymore. Well, and here's here's an interesting fact. Okay, fluoride supplements, okay, have never been approved by the FDA. Unlike other dietary supplements, however, you can't just walk into the grocery store and buy a fluoride supplement. Okay, so here, if it's never been approved by the mm -hmm. FDA, mm -hmm. then why are they dumping it into our water? Yeah, they've been See, doing it for a long time. And this is this is again back into armoring up, and and I go, you know, this is something we need to be aware of, and I'm not sure how many are really aware and ready to stand up and say, okay, well,、uh, what do we do about this? The answer is most are only as aware as the the media will allow them to be. Yeah, yeah. Well, and that's true. I mean, the mass media is. <laughs> Part of the house of cards. So you know, what do you do with that? You know,、um, another thing, like if for those of you who remember when television first came along, people were just knocked over by the impact of it. How it controlled time, how it controlled people's schedules.、Yep. Uh, they said the message 
is the medium. Remember that? The message is not the message. It's the actual medium itself. Television. Television, the monster. Television. The media monster. And now we have the Internet, which in, in my humble estimation is far far more powerful than television was in ways that no one has even quantified yet. And if you think the Internet controls people now, if we're still around in three, four, five years, you, well, you haven't seen anything yet. It's going to become ruthless. I watched some people in public. I don't remember where I was. I think I was, I was in a store. Uh, and there were two people waiting in line to get their food. And both had self smartphones, excuse me, smartphones. And they were both just using their thumb and flicking the screen up and reading. I could see what they were doing. They were reading messages, messages. Mm -hmm. And the one person said to the other, well, I only got 68 messages today. Now, that's, see, to me, that, that, that's not what the Internet is really all about, but that's what people usually use it for. And that's, it's diversion. Uh, it's a in thief. a way, it's in a, a way, thief. Jeff, it's actually it steals, dumbing us down. It steals time. It steals individuality. It yep. steals proactive personalities and turns them into reactive, walking, drooling consumers. Well, and it also tells the people behind the phones where they're at, what they're doing, what their activity is. Oh, who total they're monitoring. To. Sure. So this is this is the biggest surveillance, you know. And in fact, it was it Elon Musk of uh, Tesla made a comment, and he said by two th I think it was by 2025 that all the robots will be having humans as pets. Now, there's two things wrong with this statement. Number one is um, why would you even want to state a statement like that? Because unless he's a robot himself, I've never cared for the guy much. I think honestly, uh, he's got connections that are rather dark and shady. Uh, I, don't, uh, I can't yeah. <laughs> prove that, but uh, that's my you feeling. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, my yeah. God. And this is the thing where, you know, I, I look at, you know, what's going on in life. And, and again, I, I just think that uh, not giving into fear and is number one because that's your emotional state. Mm -hmm. And number two is taking care of your body, looking at the GMOs, the Monsanto. I, I don't know if anybody knew this or, you know, how many people know this. But uh, 1998, Monsanto and Scott, okay, Miracle Grow, uh -huh. entered into a collaboration, um, and they shared all their benefits and all their goods. So this, this and number three know, is not Monsanto's buying your Miley Cyrus concert tickets. Exactly, exactly. So we're having a, a connection here, and this to me is like, okay, well, what do you do about it? Well, you know, for me, it's again go against the, the fear you know make sure your your state of mind is good your state of heart is good second of all take care of the inside of your body and the outside of your body obviously we need exercise we need to eat organic food and if, when you're eating organic food you're basically telling monsanto to take a hike okay and, and that definitely helps all true yeah but yeah. also getting things like get the tea, you know, life change tea. And you know what's interesting? I don't know how many people know this, but the tea is formulated to detoxify, cleanse your kidneys, your liver, your colon, and all and your blood all at once. Okay, I didn't know about the kidneys and the liver. I haven't read that much. I just know it. it I feel if I don't have it for two or three days, I notice it. Can't tell you oh, why. I just do. Dave McGowan passed away this last week, and he was one of a kind. Had a lot to do with uh, many things you know about, Ronnie. Yeah, I uh, interviewed business. Dave a couple and, times. Yeah. He, he was a good man. He was yes, a good he man. was. Very smart, very bright, always had a good sense of humor. And Anyway, we don't have many of us. It's a very thin line. Very thin. Okay, back to the good stuff. Now, um... We're coming up on the holiday season, and that means people, oh, they always get, they worry. What's, what is one of the one things people always worry about for the holidays? Oh, my God, I'm going to gain 10 pounds. How yep. am I going to get rid of it? I, yeah. And they do. 
That's true. You're, 10, you're, you're dead on. And we eat turkey, we eat roast, we eat, you know, uh, pies, you know, all that kind of good stuff. And I understand that. And this is something, again, and I want to I wanna also address, you know, not a lot of time, but I want to address a couple of things with the tea because a lot of the rinse listeners are, are jumping on board, but they have some questions. And so for those of you listening to me, I can answer some questions here. And one of the things that people are asking is, you know, when they are on pharmaceuticals, you know, is it okay to drink the tea and still take my pharmaceutical? And the answer is yes, but, 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 you must take your pharmaceuticals two hours or drink your tea two hours before or drink your tea two hours after taking the pharmaceutical. So you need to have that spread because that tea is so strong, it will take the pharmaceutical out. Now, if it takes a pharmaceutical out, it kind of tells you something. It tells you that it takes foreign crud that's in your body and mm-hmm. removes it. It leaves all the good stuff. So if you had a, say you took a supplement of vitamin C or vitamin right. E or whatever, it would leave that. But if it has something foreign, it's, it attacks it, it takes it out, it moves it out through the colon and bye-bye hasta la vista. So the key here is make sure if you need to take certain heart medicines, whatever you're taking, make sure that you drink the tea accordingly. Um, make sure that you don't have it within two hour span of taking that pharmaceutical. That way you get the full whack of your pharmaceutical so you can get taken care of. Oh, very good. Very important. Um, the other thing is, um, this is really going to cleanse your blood. We also sell blood purifiers, which are very important as well. Um, and you should take those. A lot of people say, well, should I take blood purifiers every single month? And the answer is no. You can take it about every four What is a months. blood purifier? It basically, uh, it cleanses the blood. And yeah, I got liver. that, but I mean, what is it? It's a, it's a pill, and you take I the capsule. I got that, but what's it made of? Do we oh, know? it's made of burdock root, red clover, yellow dock, beet powder, bentonite clay, milk thistle, um, and some oh, different all, extracts. Okay, very good things. Very good. So, oh yeah, 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 yeah. All good stuff. All and all these products are organic. So these products are organic. And by the way, in the tea, I get asked this all the time: Is there caffeine? Because I notice my heart is racing. Mm. Okay, there's no caffeine in this tea. Okay, there might be a little teeny itsy itsy bitsy trace. Teeny, 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 teeny trace because sometimes green tea has it already inside. Mm-hmm. But there is no caffeination, no caffeinated uh, tea at all. Well, sometimes when your digestive tract, and, and this is the tea goes to town on your digestive tract, when your digestive tract is moving or it's clogged, your heart will beat faster. So it's sometimes when your heart is beating faster, it's actually moving the stuff inside of your mm-hmm. intestinal tract mm-hmm. so that you basically are get cleansed so that you get rid of all the muck. And this is going to happen. You're going to have more stomach problems uh, with the tea. If you've never tried it, you possibly will have some stomach issues off the right off the bat, next first one to three days. But after you get on it, and you can only just, you just lighten up your dose, which means your month's supply will just go that much further. So all you have to do is lighten up your load. As soon as you get on it a little while, boom. And, you know, I've been on this tea for over eight years. and I've Actually, no, nine years. And, um, it, you know, it doesn't even affect me other than it takes care of me, but I, I, I have no stomach problems whatsoever. So this is something oh, I never that have. Hurts. Well, just, that's, you're, yeah, just but a, you're a healthy guy too. So that, it's I just think that, delicious. <laughs> so it's it's and, and here's the thing. I want to make sure I say this because people are going to go crazy. This is the holiday season. So number one, when you get your tea, if you order tonight or whenever you're going to order, um, make sure you understand it's a holiday. So it's going to the, the post office is uh, you know it's kind of a government agency. So it's not going to take uh, you know it's not going to be fast and quick. And so it, you're going to take a little extra time. Number two. We have a sale. We have a sale that's going on, and this is really wonderful. When you buy two months' supply of Life Change Super Tea, you get a one month supply absolutely free. It's the best sale of the year, and people get on it, and it gets crazy. I mean, it's wild. So know that there's a hmm. sale going on. Know that the, the post office is a little slow. And I think, you know what I'm thinking, Jeff? I think that the post office likes our tea, too, because every once in a while, somebody <laughs> doesn't get their tea, and I think some postman does. I think there's a lot of that going on in the post office. Sorry I think to say. Too, and if you're a postman, I, I love you. I do. <laughs> But enjoy the tea. No. <laughs> yeah. No, they're, uh, well, they're post males and post females. 
Yes, there is. And they, yeah, it's not post-man anymore. No, they get to notice what's what packages are interesting and where they come from, and they look. They anyway, who knows? 